New at 6, a routine traffic stop turns into a drug interrogation for an elderly couple in Walton County. CBS 46 began investigating the incident when the senior citizens passing through Georgia complained that the deputy crossed the line. Investigative reporter Adam Murphy is here with this exclusive story. Well, Tracy, the Tharps were pulled over and told their window tent was too dark. And the deputy even used one of the devices like this that actually checked the tent and give you a number as to how much tint the window really has. The couple then quickly found out that wasn't the only reason they were stopped. 69-year-old Charles Tharp never expected his family vacation would end like this. Stand right back here. He and his wife had just visited their grandchild in Texas and were headed back to North Carolina when a Walton County Sheriff's deputy stopped them. It just seemed a little unusual since we were not speeding. We're always careful drivers. They were told their windows were too dark. The deputy checked the tent with a meter like this and found it was not within the legal limit. On the contrary, Tharp's Toyota dealership tested the tent and got a different reading that was legal. I thought that was awfully strange since th these are factory tinted Toyota windows. And that, that seems so peculiar that someone would stop you for something like that. It turns out it was just the beginning of their troubles. No, sir. The deputy told the Tharps to get out of their car, and then he began to question them about smuggling drugs. I don't honestly know what the stereotype looks like for a heroin smuggler, but I don't think a couple of senior citizens driving a handicap license plate car with their little cocker spaniel in the back seat really looks like were much of a threat to anybody. The interrogation went on for more than 20 minutes in the cold, standing on the side of the road. An uncomfortable experience for Tharp considering he has cancer and often has back pain from standing. Hindsight, maybe we, he did go a little far. So CBS 46 questioned the Walton County Sheriff's Office about the traffic stop. They told us they have counseled the deputy and are in the process of reviewing the incident. His primary function is to look for criminal activity i.e. May, maybe drugs. Brooks admits the deputy may have taken the questioning too far. We can learn from all our mistakes. But as far as the Tharps are concerned, the damage has been done. I'll tell you what, I respect the law less today than I did before. Now, the Tharps told me they got a call from the Sheriff's Department today after we began asking questions about this incident. They were told a formal investigation had been opened and they should know the outcome in a few days.